Well, good morning and happy Monday. Today is the 13th of January, 2020. Happy New Year, everyone. It feels really kind of weird saying that because we're almost like two weeks into the new year. But uh, yeah, happy new year. I hope you all had a lovely festive period, time, week. Yeah, I have just been so busy over the last two, three weeks just been working. Last week I was at work every single day except for Thursday. But yeah, I've just been working. And so finally this week I have some much needed days off <laughs> uh, just to, to catch up with life. I have a huge to-do list of things that I need to get done. So I thought today would be a really great day to just start it to get things done. I did have the day off yesterday. It was a very lovely, lazy, much needed Sunday to myself. I really, really needed just to have a day of just doing nothing, of not having my phone near me, of not vlogging, of not sewing, of not working, of not doing anything. I just sat on the lounge and I just, I just binge watched TV and it was great. I loved it. It was just such a really nice break from life. So yeah, I thought today, Monday, we'll get things cracking. We'll get back on track with life. I have had a lot of people ask uh, about my safety regarding all of the fires that have been going on in uh, the Sydney area and also New South Wales. I am very luckily very safe from the fires. We are nowhere near them. Well, they are, they have been near us, but we haven't been directly affected by them. The most that we've been affected by it is just having a lot of smoke uh, in our in our air, in our area. Today is another very smoky day. So out in the horizon, it just looks like there's a white sort of fog, but it's not. It's smoke. Um, so it was quite smoky yesterday and a couple other days during last week. So yeah, we are all safe. Thank you all very much for for asking and for checking in. I really do appreciate it. But anyway, on with the day. I need to go to the post office. I need to pick up a few few things from my PO box. I'm posting it out finally. I'm so sorry to the person who did win this. I'm sending out all of my goodies from uh, my advent calendar from Vlogmas. I'm finally sending this out to the winner today. I do apologize to the winner for posting it out so late, but yeah, just life's been crazy. Um, so PO box, I gotta go to the chemist, I need to do some shopping, and yeah. And then I don't know, this afternoon I need to get into my sewing room because it's just an absolute mess. It's a tip. There's just stuff everywhere and so I feel so unorganized and so uninspired because there's just stuff everywhere and uh, I feel so unsettled. But um, anyway, <laughs> I was going off into a whole other thing. But uh, anyway, let's let's just get the day started. It's, it's nice and early. It's about five past nine. We have a day to get things done. So let's do it. Let's get things done. Let's go. And I don't drive like this, by the way. That's a little bit dangerous. It's later on in the afternoon and I've ticked off a significant amount of things from my list this morning. So yay. Good, successful morning getting things done. Hooray. I've now just come into my sewing room and... Uh, I'm feeling... I'm feeling very overwhelmed. Um... There's just stuff everywhere on the table. There is just like dirt everywhere. It is just dirty. Because we are in drought, it means there's just a lot of dust and dirt everywhere. And so because I have the window open in my sewing room, all the dirt just gets blown in. Before I do anything, I just I literally have to clean because it is just so dirty in here. I actually had to put a bag over the top of my sewing machine because I've actually lost the the case or the little cover that goes on it. I'm pretty sure this machine came with like a soft cover, but I don't know what I've done with it. So I've had to resort to putting a big spotlight bag on top of it because look at all of this dirt. This is just dirt that's coming from the window. It's all on the windowsill. It's just so 
gross and dirty and it was going all over my sewing machine so that's why that's on there but yeah it's just also just covered in stuff I've got a Christmas bag that needs to go away my Christmas embroidery that I, I need to finish but at the same time I don't really want to <laughs> I don't know I just don't have any I don't know I'm just so uninspired to, to do that at the moment so I'm gonna put that to one side and maybe do it maybe during the year I don't know random cords cards from Christmas and labels my hexes that I am now slowly beginning to do I did put my finished hexi blocks up on the wall because this is my next project they're the ones I need to to do this is a box of hexes and all my hexi stuff got all the pieces cut for my Christmas Winterville quilt that just went nowhere over vlogmas <laughs> this is fabric I want to make uh, a library bag for my niece Amelia I was gonna do that during vlogmas didn't happen and then just general chaos that I just I just I don't know it's, it's just too much I find starting the year off by just cleaning and tidying everything up and getting rid of things that I just don't use or don't want or it's just so unnecessary I find I find doing that at the start of the year helps me just to get back into I don't know some sort of inspirational mind set up because I'm just so unmotivated to do anything there are lots of reasons for that which I'm not going to go into but I yeah I just feel so uninspired and unmotivated to do anything so I just feel that if I just clean this up just get my my environment my area my bubble really nice and clean and tidy maybe I might feel inspired to to do something um, to get started and back into things because I've I've done a whole list of things that I want to do there are a lot of uh, video ideas and tutorials and things I want to do this year but it's just finding the motivation to do it and um, and also the time and I think that's that's a one big thing that's that's not really motivating me at the moment I just don't have time to do the things I want to do I've literally just stood here for the last five minutes or so just looking at everything and I don't know where to start I just did not know where to begin like how do I begin do I just pick a spot and just start tidying and the thing is once I sort of start tidying there are gonna be things that I'm gonna find that I don't want anymore so then that's gonna create a pile and then I'm going to create other piles of things that I do want to keep, but I don't have anywhere for, like they don't have a home, hence why they're just strewn on the table. Like I have all of these bundles, <laughs> and I just, I just have, and I'm, I just don't know where to store them, like I don't have a specific place to put bundles that I'm just not ready to use yet. I have bags full of projects and fabrics that <laughs> had all good intentions of of making but just haven't and oh, I gotta find places for like elastic and beads. I made these little bracelets with my niece and nephew the other day when they came over um so it's just stuff that I've gotten out that I just haven't been bothered putting back again. Right I think the plan of attack is to put on some good music and just just pick a corner and start. I find that I'm a lot more productive when I have some good music on and I can just sort of focus on that and it just kind of gets me going. So I think that is a good idea. The next question is, where did I put my phone? <laughs> um, oh. It's here behind me. We're gonna get some good music on the Spotify. I think album for today, to get me through it, is gonna have to be one of my favorite albums of all time, Continuum by John Mayer. It has all of his best songs on it, I think. I love, love that album. This is the album I'm talking about, Continuum by John Mayer. And for those of you who wanna know where I find all my music, it's just on Spotify. It's just an app that you can put on your phone. So I think we'll put that on and just start. Stop faffing, stop procrastinating. <laughs> That's what I'm doing, I'm procrastinating. And just 
Just start, just do it. Okay, so I've taken everything pretty much off my sewing table. This half from here I've actually cleaned, so it looks nice and, and lovely. And I've tidied up this part here as well. Now I've got to do this corner, and I just want to show you just how dirty and dusty it is. This is what I mean. It's just dirt and dust and grossness everywhere. So I'm going to wipe it all down. I think I'm going to make room for my overlocker underneath the desk because it's sort of like a wasted corner. And I'm not sure whether I want to take down this artwork that I did when I was at TAFE. It's actually the sales of the Opera House, if you can kind of see that. It's quite abstract, but... Yeah, I think I'm going to take it down. It's just disgusting. It is so dirty and awful. Um, so, yeah, we'll give that a clean. Then I'm going to give my machine a bit of a clean as well. It is a little bit dirty, but not as dirty as the table. significantly better and I'm so happy with that yay what I'm thinking is I'm possibly going to take this picture down and while I'm here I'm actually going to take all these lantern thingies down because I don't use them they're all dusty and gross and old I'm not really feeling it anymore so I'm going to take all of those down and my little frame here and I was thinking of maybe putting my cath kits and cards there because I still don't really have a spot for them. I was going to put them in the hallway, but I've decided against it. I actually really want them in this room because this is very much my shrine to sewing and cath kits in and all the things that I love. So yeah, I think we'll, we'll do that. And this is what we're finished with. I've replaced that artwork with the two Kath Kids and Cards I framed last year. I've moved my overlocker. That's going to go somewhere underneath there eventually. My old sewing machine. And then I moved the fat quarter drawers that I had there in the corner along with all my pre-cuts and things. This is the little box full of all my little wallets that I've made and are to be made. As well as fabric for ones I want to make uh, as well. Hexies and the fabric for my niece's library bag. And I've just finished cleaning my sewing machine. It looks lovely, nice and clean, lovely and shiny again. I am going to put my big fat spotlight bag back over it because I want to keep it covered and I can't find a cover for it. Next thing I'm going to do is clean this windowsill because it's filthy. I'll also wash my ironing board cover. I haven't done that in a while. I'll do that tomorrow, I think. I also need to go to Ikea and get a frame for this embroidery. I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I did with this one. I think it should fit quite nicely in a frame like that. And that's it for the day. I'm really happy with what I've been able to sort of push through and do. After taking all of these lights down, the place looks like so much bigger and just a lot more cleaner and not so cluttered. And the space also feels a lot like bigger as well. It's amazing, just crazy. I'm glad my table is done because now I feel a little bit more like, I don't know, grounded, a little bit more organized. I still need to get a shelving unit here from Ikea. I know exactly the one I want to get and I've been wanting to get it since like this time last year and it just hasn't happened. So I want to definitely do that very, very soon. This filing cabinet needs to go. That was supposed to go this time last year. It didn't happen. I'm thinking of maybe selling a few of my quilts just to sort of get that not so like that. They just sit there doing nothing. I won't be selling all of them. Like I won't sell my pixelated quilt or my Union Jack quilt. Maybe some of my quilt along quilts I might get rid of. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But yeah, there's still lots to do and I'm excited to do it because, you know, this place is my bubble. I love being in here and I want it to be just right, you know? In saying that, I still have to clean up all of the stuff that's under my sewing table and there's a lot of stuff under there and I'm really quite scared. But anyway, that's another day. That's a whole other day.
the whole of it. Good afternoon and happy Wednesday. It's the 15th today and I've just spent the morning doing errands and getting things ready for uh, my long weekend at work. But I thought this afternoon I just concentrate a little bit on doing some sewing, just doing some hands-on creative things and what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue with my hexies. I did begin doing a couple more blocks the other day day last week I think it was. There's a couple more that I need to sort of applique on uh, before I can start to stitch them on because what I've done is I sort of applique them on first and then I do this really nice sort of triple stitch around the edge of it just to secure the hexes onto um, the piece of fabric and that triple stitch I actually do on my old brother machine so now that I've sort of tidied everything up on my sewing room table and it's now pretty easy to get to I feel like I can I can manage that <laughs> kind of thing. I've done about oh how many are there one two three four I put four on already onto the backings and they're ready to be sewn on and I've been using the Sewline fabric glue pen that I got from Hobby Sew uh, last year I really really like it. I remember reading in the comments when I showed you this that this is really good, that you all really liked it and I'd have to agree. It's a very very easy and quick pen to use. The glue is super sticky and everything just sticks just so quickly and and easily. It's a great little pen to use instead of using like an applique paper or a heat and bond. It's just something to just quickly adhere one piece of fabric to another so you can I don't know, do something quickly with it, I guess. So I definitely recommend this product if if you're kind of doing a project that's similar to mine. I paid eleven dollars for this. At the time I thought it was quite expensive, but I'm I'm really I think it's definitely worth that price. It's a Japanese product too, and usually Japanese products are really quite good. I'm going to put on some music. I might even listen to a podcast, I'm not sure. Put something on in the background and just a zen out and yeah, get a couple of these blocks ready for sewing. Monday. Today is the since the twentieth of January. Holy crap! I'm looking a little bit rough today. <laughs> I've just come off of four very busy, very long, very intense. Yeah, just <laughs> just four very very long days at work. So today I finally have the day off, and yeah, this is this is what a this is the result. This morning I spent some time editing some of the footage that I've that I did last week. Um, I think I filmed on Monday and Tuesday, I think I did, or Wednesday. Um, um. So I've done that, and I thought this afternoon I'd do a little bit of sewing and just sort of, yeah, chill out a bit and just enjoy being at home and not doing anything. It's always nice. I'm sure there are many of you out there who will enjoy this next little bit of the vlog. We have a spotlight haul. Yay! When I have a lot of she all together, I usually really quite like um, sort of rewarding myself with some fabric and some little goodies that I've kind of like been eyeing off when I am at work. So that's what this is. There is nothing in here I need, actually. No, that's a lie. There is actually one thing that I did need and it was on sale as well. So hence why I got it um, and I'll show it to you now. I got one of these ruler and template stands. So it looks like that. It's from the So Easy range. And essentially what it is, it's a, it's actually, it's quite heavy. But it's a, a thing that you can either put on the table or I just saw that you can actually hang it up if you really want to. It's got all of these slots in it. I'm assuming that there's slots under here. I actually haven't opened it. I should, I suppose. Ah, that's what it looks like. So it's got all of these slots you can put your rulers in. I currently have all of my, I don't, you won't be able to see it. But I've got all of my rulers just stacked up on my desk and they're just sort of laying up against the wall. And I just thought, 
this would be perfect to put there and to have my rulers standing there because they currently don't really have a home they just sort of sit on my sewing desk and kind of get in the way when I'm not using them so I picked that up so I think that one it was usually like 20 like 25 27 dollars which is you know pretty hefty so easy range was on sale it was like 30 percent off so it went down to 18.90 that's what I paid for this little thing so in a minute I'll I'll show you what it does and then just recently we've got in these new range of zippers it won't be part of like our everyday main range it's just sort of like a special thing that's coming in for a couple months and it's these thick and chunky zippers it comes in lots of different colors i got the pink one because oh, i thought that was the best color there it's super super thick really chunky and i just love it i have no idea what i'll do with it but why not originally four dollars i paid with my staff discount uh, $3.40 then finally we've had a sale in our most recent catalog which actually finished yesterday so this sale isn't on anymore but I got 10 fat quarters for $10 we call these flat fats but I call them fat quarters because that's what they are but yeah you could get 10 for 10 and so that's what I got so I got this mustardy one with black spots Finny. Another mustardy one, but it's got like these blue and pink monsteria leaves on them. Love these colours, very much in vogue, and they both go together really nice. A couple of floral ones, so two different sort of ones, both blue with pink flowers. I got some spots and also some plaids. I love me and my spots. I thought this one here was pretty cool. It's got people on it and look, they're eating pretzels and doing all the things that you do in like a park and I just thought it was really cool. I got this one with some succulents on it. Super cute. I got this one here because I just really love all of those sort of blue tones in it and the leafy kind of design. And then I got this one which reminds me very much of um, a Cap Kidson design. It's like a really nice mint type green with the flower and spots in it. And that's it. That's my gorgeous little spotlight haul. That's what I treated myself for doing my four very long days at work. Yeah, happy days. So now I'm going to set this up and then I might do some sewing. I might set up my old sewing machine, uh, my old brother one, because it has a triple stitch on it that I used to do the edging on these hexes, as I would have showed you during the start of this vlog. So I think, We'll do that this afternoon, put on, some, put on some good music again, and just chill out and do some sewing. I'll show you what this does. So we'll start with the big ruler, and we'll see how that fits in there. Oh, very good. Next one. Yeah, next one. Oh, this is going to be so satisfying. Look at how they line up. Oh, that looks so good. I wonder if my rotating mat will fit in there. No, not quite. That doesn't quite fit. Damn. And well, that's all right. Pop that one in there too. Awesome. So these rulers that I stacked up here are ones that I don't use very often. So they're a lot of the ones that I use for like squaring up blocks and things. However, these three are the ones that I use all the time. So I have my four and a half inch set square, my six and a half inch set square, and then my four and a half by 14 inch, yeah, cutting ruler. So I don't know whether to put them in there as well, just so that they're out of the way. Actually, what I'll do is I'll put that one in there. So I have actually have two six and a half inch set square rulers. I got another one because this one has tape on it and it won't come off and it's annoying. So I just got another one. So I might put that there and I'll put that one there as well for the moment because I'm not using them and I won't be using them for a while. And I'll just keep out my normal rectangle one. So yay. All right, well, I'm gonna oh, push that back to where it needs to go. Can't reach. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Ta-da! That looks 
a little bit better I think. It'll be easier to get everything out. They won't all slide all over the place either. The only problem is they're actually quite far away. <laughs> I can't quite reach them. So oh, that's okay. I'll just put everything back in front of it. <laughs> These are all the things that don't really quite have homes. They just sort of sit here on my desk um, because that's the only place to put them. All right, well now that that's done, we will get out the the old school brother machine, my um, old school quilting one, and we'll do some sewing. We did just have a passing shower slash thunderstorm. It was very, very brief. It was nice, but now it's made everything feel really humid so <laughs> if you just get moving for like a couple of minutes you start working up a sweat so I know that was fun to share but it is what it is. and I finished sewing all of the um, hexes down with my lovely sewing machine here. I put all of the blocks that I've done so far up on my design wall and they just fit and I think it looks pretty good. It's very colourful which I'm not complaining about. I think actually just looking at it now there are a few blocks I might maybe have to change around yes i mean it is a little bit dark in my room because i don't have the light on but that's what we're working with and this is like right on the edge of my design wall i could move them up a little bit more but i can't quite reach but yeah that's what we're working with so far these two little blank squares are two more that i have to make i kind of didn't really calculate it right these are the last two that i have to do luckily i had four spare hexi flowers left so i just chose my two favorite out of them so I'll try and get them done during the week so then I can fill up those spaces and and see what it looks like there are three blocks that I'm going to change we've got this one here this one here and this one here they all have the same background so I don't really want a lot of the blocks with the same backgrounds near each other I've just sort of stood here for the last 10 minutes rearranging them all and I didn't see them. I only just saw them as I was standing here talking to you and looking at it so what I might do is we'll change that one and that one. That doesn't quite work because now I have three going the opposite way. Okay give me a minute and I'll work it out. Yeah, I think I've done it. I think there's sort of, they're not sort of all like near each other now. I don't know if you understand what I just did, but it makes sense to me. And uh, I'm happy with, with now how the layout looks. Happy days. Nice. Oh, I'm so happy that that's on its way and getting done. Yay. Well, good morning, friends, and happy Wednesday. Today is the 20... 2nd of January. I'm kind of vlogging today with no intentions of really doing anything. I don't have a plan for today. I don't know what to do today. I obviously have the day off of work, uh, which is always nice. I don't know whether to do some colouring in. I've been really uh, getting into like colouring in and drawing and sketching and doodling recently and I've been really really loving it. I picked up this really cool it's like a, a color by numbers type coloring book it's called color quest cityscapes 
is this book here, and it says 30 extreme coloring challenges to complete. So it's like a, it's like paint by numbers essentially. I'll show you the one that I've been doing. It's a cityscape that is very close to my heart, and it's this one. Oh, so what it is, is it's got like the color code up here with the number and then whichever square says number one, you color in the color that it says. Uh, so that's what I've sort of been working on over the last week. It looks so good. Most pages are sort of like blank like this. Oh, look at that one. Like you can't even tell really what it is. But yeah, I've been really, really enjoying it. I actually um, treated myself to a brand new pack of Faber-Castell classic color pencils. This is the 48 set and I love these pencils. They're so good. I hardly have any issues with them like breaking or anything like that. And it comes with a cool sharpener. So you can't go wrong with that. But yeah, these colors are really pretty. So I sort of just been, you know, relaxing with them, especially after coming home from busy day at work and just need to sort of just just come down and just get back into nice healthy headspace I suppose so I think I might just continue on with that why not put some good music on all right onwards with the day I've just spent some time just doing a little bit more of my scenery here. I've done another one, two, three, four, five, six. I've done another six colors in it and I'm really liking it. It looks good. So now I have another, another six more colors to do and then it'll be finished. It does take a while. All of the squares are really quite intricate to color in. So you really got to take your time and just be really quite careful with it so i'm going to end the vlog here thank you all so much for watching and for tuning in again this year i've got lots of things planned for the year i just hope that i'll have time to to do everything but um we'll get there we'll get there as always thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you again another time very very soon